is data. Given value by matrix, sometimes in a graph or uh, sometimes in a table. Too. Okay, fine. So you already know about data. Now, frequency. Frequency means uh, and data also, you know, grouping or uh, you can say class or class interval is also there. Okay, that, that data. Then you have classes or class interval. Well, then you have class limit, class size. Sorry. Okay. So you can say the parts. Good evening, ma'am. Yeah, good evening, Adam. Okay, so we are uh, starting with statistics. Okay, because some students are going to have statistic uh, in their exam. Okay, so I'm uh, right. I'm just just not going in deep with statistic. Okay, just I'm covering up the topic so that uh, they can give their exams. Okay, which is starting from twelve. Okay, but uh, they'll be very helpful for you uh, after the exams are finished. Then I will start in a deep dive with statistic with complete all the points. Okay, of the CBSE slips. Where I was. Okay, let me uh, just properly write it because here. Okay, okay. okay. Data. So what you can say, data, the facts or figure, is uh, information or you can say observation, which are there are many things where we collect data. Okay. Now, as a definition of data, you can see here the data, the facts or figure which are numerical or otherwise collected with a definite purpose. Okay. For example, a data in your school. Okay. In your class, we have collected the data of the students and their marks in the exam, half yearly exams. Okay, teacher have the data of the student marks. Okay, so what is that? Okay, teacher maintain a scoreboard. Okay, that how from like from ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, and then how many students are in that particular range? Okay, how many students? Like if I have a, a range of okay before range, I will just you can like for example, I'm. Uh, data for data i'm giving you an example for data you can have marks record marks record okay uh, you can have uh, a survey or uh, production of production ma'am ma yes. have you started st statistics yeah, uh, Razi, statistic, I will go in deep after the exams are finished, but uh, Shazan and Adrika are having their exams from 16 or 15, and then having statistic in their exams. So I'm just covering up important topics so they don't face problem in the examination, okay? But I will again be uh, going in deep with the statistic, okay? But yeah, things we will cover here, so at that time, we will be finishing early, okay? So production of, you can say, uh, you can say any, any type of production, okay? Like production of wheat, of by states okay but the, every state how much uh, the states are producing wheat every year okay these type of things we can calculate and um, we can um, we can have the data okay or how many students have scored uh, what marks is okay what is the climatical condition of the year okay so they can be different types of data okay now some more basic terms that we should know when we are learning about data one is primary data and one is secondary data Primary data and secondary data. Ma yes. Ma'am, primary data is when we collect something on our own. Ma'am, the data we collect something on our own. And secondary data is when we like just write it like in a tabular tab tab form. Uh, it is like uh, it is like given something so somewhere else already. Secondary yes. data. Actually, primary data means that we have collected ourselves. Okay. Him, matlab, when we are going for primary data, means we are the one who have collected the data by ourselves but secondary data means we have got the data from somewhere okay from another source that is your secondary data from your primary data himself and this is from other source okay so we have got this from another source okay now you have another terms frequency now what do you mean by frequency before frequency also we have cla uh, classes okay class classes means what grouping Okay. Yes, mom. Like zero to five, five yes. to ten, five, five to fifteen. Group some like you are collecting a data of the marks. Okay, so teacher can group uh, the marks in zero to uh, ten marks, then ten to twenty, then twenty to thirty, or she can also have a group of zero to twenty. Okay, twenty to forty. Okay, and forty to mom? sixty. Yes. Mom, but in zero to ten, we are not going to count ten uh, in it. No, mom will count yeah. ten in ten to twenty. That I will tell you, okay? That I will tell you okay. uh, because two types of data are there that is continuous and discontinuous. So, Razi, in your school also, statistic is going on? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, okay. uh, this is the explanation. Ma'am, I started it yesterday only. Okay, okay, but th that is not coming in your examination. Ma'am, it will come. 
if you come my exam mom my exams uh, will start from october 7 mom like there's one month okay okay so okay uh, for right now i'll just tell in a little short but i will be going okay, in deep in one means after two days okay because ama uh, shazan i think shazan is having exam on 12th only okay uh, where i was okay so now grouping this is called grouping of data okay we can have group according to our choice okay but uh, classes okay so classes means grouping of data okay now there are a lower limit and upper limit now this when you are grouping the data so this the smaller one the smaller is one is called lower limit lower limit okay and this bigger one is called upper limit okay this upper uh, this bigger one is called upper limit understood now we have class size okay these are the basic terms okay we have class size class size is nothing it is upper limit upper limit minus lower limit divided by 2 okay this is your class size okay now sorry not 2 for 2 you do afterwards so you are just going for class size na okay so it is just upper limit minus lower limit okay that will be your class size means if you are having a class of 10 is to 20 so class size will be 20 minus 10 that will be equal to 10 so 10 is the class size understood now here comes frequency okay what is frequency frequency means number of entries in a particular data number of, sorry number of entries of a data having i like you have fixed a class okay 10 to 20 so how many data are falling inside 10 to 20 okay for example if we are taking taking a marks okay marks of students okay in class okay so teacher has maintained a table for that okay now we can have i am going from 0 to 20 Then twenty to forty, forty to sixty, sixty to eighty, and then eighty to hundred. Okay. Now, as we are maintaining a data, so obviously we'll check the number of students. Okay. If I am having number of students as fifty, okay. For example, just example number of students fifty. Okay. So among this fifty, how many students have got the marks from zero to twenty? That will go inside this class. This class, okay, zero to twenty. For example, five students have got marks zero to twenty. Uh, among between zero to twenty, some have got ten, some have got fifteen, but they all lie in this class zero to twenty. Five students. Now we have ten students among twenty to thirty. We have students uh, like fifteen students from this range. Okay, so we have got ten, twenty, thirty. And we have got ten, ten students in this range. So I think we are completing the fifty number of students. So this. The, these values, okay. These values are called what? These values are called frequency, okay. Understood or not? These values are called frequency, okay. Now we have come to know about what is frequency. Now there are two types of frequency, okay. Types of group frequency. So how many types of group frequency are there? There are two, okay. Exclusive form and inclusive form. Now exclusive form can also be called as continuous, and this is called discontinuous, okay. Now What is the difference between this exclusive form and inclusive form? As the name suggests, exclusive form that means you will be having your grouping as continuous grouping, continuous form. Okay. In, yes. Ma'am, uh, like in the upper table, uh, you showed us like uh, the the marks from zero to twenty, and after that twenty to twenty to forty. Uh, Ma'am, this is called conti- uh, exclusive uh, exclusive frequency. Yes, this is called exclusive, exclusive. frequency. But you can say uh, so. Ha, exclusive. For exclusive form or the continuous form, okay. First one, okay, where the values are moving continuously, okay. You can see there is no gap, okay. Where it is stopping, there only it start, okay. The next interval, okay. Now the definition, if you see here, so it will be a frequency distribution in which upper limit of each class is excluded, okay, and lower limit is included. Is called exclusive form, okay. Here this lower limit will be included. And this upper limit will be excluded. Okay, that is why exclusive form. Okay, it will not be included in the interval zero to ten. When you are like, for example, this example, the same example, the marks student. Okay, if any student has acquired twenty marks. Okay, so in which interval it will go? Twenty to forty. Yes, it will go in twenty to forty. 
okay because in continuous class interval we are uh, where it is written 0 to 20 we are only go we are going to include 20 sorry 0 but we are going to exclude 20 20 will be included in the next class interval okay so you have to be very clear in this okay now it comes inclusive inclusive means what where it is discontinuous form okay the frequency distribution in which each upper limit as well as lower limit are included okay now you have this one i will go with different kind of red okay inclusive inclusive form okay inclusive form for example if i use t so it will be 0 to 10 or i can say 1 to 10 i'm taking okay that will be better 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 then 21 to 30 then 31 to 40 like this okay so you can see here it is not continuous gap is there okay and here both will be included both included okay means if a person is scoring one mark that also will fall in this class one is to ten and if a person is scoring in ten marks that also will fall in the same class okay understood here now let's see now whenever you will get a uh, data uh, to draw a graph and all okay so Whenever you are getting to draw a bar graph or pictogram, not pictograph, you have a frequency polygon and a histogram. So, on if you get a data of discontinuous form, that is an exclusive form, then always make it first in the inclusive, exclusive form, that is continuous manner, and then plot it on a graph paper. Understood? Shazan, have you understood yes. the question that I, I told you? One question was there. First, you have to go make it continuous, and then you have to solve the question. Yeah, Razi, what you were saying? Uh, ma'am, I was saying, ma'am, to make a uh, uh, inclusive uh, inclusive form in exclusive form, ma'am, we have to first check the ma'am, like how many units are uh, like how many units uh, is away. The first unit yeah. is away from the I will tell you method, okay, that how to make the uh, discontinuous form in the continuous form, okay? Just a minute. Now, I think this these basic things are clear here, okay? Yes, ma'am. Move the next page; it will be better, okay? Now to convert, okay, discontinuous. One can you get it for inclusive and exclusive? You didn't get it. You didn't get it exclusive and inclusive. Yes. Now exclusive. What you understood? Or the whatever I said in this, or what sentence you understood in your mind? No, I didn't get it. Only just the Anything? Nothing. You get it about contain, uh, exclusive. Now, what you uh, what you understand, Shazan, with the word of continuous? Continuous That is keep on going. There is not a breakage in that. Yes? Yes? There is no breaking point. Okay? Wo continue or Okay? Yes? That means continuous. Okay? There is no breakage or there is not stopping anything. Okay? No stop is there. Okay? It is keep on going. Okay? So exclusive form means continuous form. Okay? Here, what is continuous? What is continuous? The class is continuous okay class is continuous class means what i have already told you class 0 to 10 okay that is your class 10 to 20 20 to 30, 20 to 30 30 to 40 you can see here i have written here this okay this was your example okay of a continuous form okay you can see the values are not breaking where it is finishing from there only we have started 0 to 10 10 to 20 10 20 to 30 30 to 40 it is a continuous form you can see a breakage in the value where it is stopping it is not starting after that. It is starting from that point only. Where it is leaving, there only it is starting. So now, why it is said that the uh, lower limit will be included and upper limit will be excluded? Why? Because you can see the value 10 lies in two class. Am I right or not? The value lie 10 lies in two class. The value 20 lies in two class. The value 30 lies in two class. Okay? One means just uh, side by side in two classes, they are lying. Okay? So if you are going to include the, uh, for example, in this case, the students that have scored 10 marks in 0 to 10 class and in 10 to 20 class, then the frequency variation will be there. Okay. That is not correct. Okay. So you have to include in one class only. So there's a rule that in a continuous form, the lower limit is included and the upper limit is excluded. Okay. Upper limit is excluded. So 10 will not be included in the first one where it is 0 to 10. Okay. Where it is the upper limit where it is treated as an upper limit, it will not be included in that class, okay? It will be included in the class where it is treated as a lower limit, okay? Understood now, Shazan? What do you mean by continuous form? There's nothing more special. Okay. In continuous form, only the values will be continuous, okay? And since the value are continuous, it is a common sense. You can see 10 is two where. That in the two classes, you can see 10. So in both the both the classes, you cannot include 10. If you're going to include, that will be not, that will not give you the correct data. Okay, so that's why it is included in the 
class where it is treated as a lower limit okay and inclusive form that is discontinuous form the data will not be continuous there will be a breakage if we are taking 0 to 10 so the next value will start after 10 not from 10 only it will start from 11 or 12 or 14 okay understood that is your discontinuous continuity ready there will be a break in that. okay now more, uh, one more important topic you have to see here that is the to convert discontinuous form in continuous form so how you are going to convert discontinuous form into continuous form now let's see just by example i'm saying okay so and now for example we are having class interval 10 sorry 11 to 20 and then next is 21 to 30 okay okay 21 to 30 is the next class interval okay now you have to do two class interval just side by side the continuous values okay now what you have to do you have to take the first class lower limit okay and the uh, next class upper limit okay and then you have to subtract okay that means 21 minus 20 so what is the value one okay now you have to take out the half of this unit in this case you have got one if you'll get two then you're going to do the half and you'll get one okay so in this case we are going to do half and we'll get 0 0.5 okay so just a minute okay now understood this till here any doubt now what you are going to do with yeah Shaza, uh, razi mama said no doubts okay. now you see here what we are going to do with this half why we have taken out this half now what we will do with this half we are going to uh, uh, add this half okay to upper limit and subtract one by two. One by two. Mm -hmm. Shazan, open your camera first. Open your camera. Shazan, open your camera. Uh, now pay attention. Okay. You have to what two classes. Okay. Now you may uh, like you have got a full table. Okay. Class interval 11 to 20. Now 20. Uh, sorry, 21 to 30. Okay. And then 31 to 40. Like this, you have got so on. Okay. So you'll take the first two one by one. Yeah, Adrika, yes. Now I have a question. Yeah, ask. Yes, sir. Now I mean, this one where, like, uh, when we'll adjust, when we'll adjust the class interval and make it 10.5 and, uh, now we'll adjust it like that. So, uh, uh, so now in that, do we have to make a separate table for it or? Just yes, sir, I, I, of course, you need a table. So what you can do, you can write these values also, whatever values are given uh, in first column and then the new class interval that you have got in the next column. Okay. And then the frequency you can write in this way. Okay. So that way you can keep track also. So now that, here it becomes 10.5, 20.5, uh, 30.5 uh, and uh, 45.5. Yes, sir. Sorry, uh, and 39.5, right? 39.5. Yes. Okay, and you have to include two values. One in the starting, you will include one extra value, and in the end also. Okay, let's see here. Yes, one more interval you have to include in the starting and in the bottom. Okay, in this type of cases. Okay, and the frequency there because the frequency is not given in that range. Okay, so you are going to write down this zero frequency. Okay, now we'll see here when we are going for frequency for uh, frequency polygon. Okay, now for continuous. Now here. So two values you are going to take, Shazan, continue with the side-by-side -side value you are going to do. You don't have to do that 11 to 20, and then you are picking up 31 to 40. Don't do like that. The value side-by-side, -side, two values you are going to pick up. So 11 to 20 and 21 to 30 you are going to pick up. Okay, just let me make it clear. 21 to 30. Okay, side-by-side -side value you are going to take. Now what you are going to take, see 11 to 20 is there, and then 21 to 30 is there. Okay, so the first class, first class, low upper limit you are going to take. First class, upper limit, upper limit, UL means upper limit. And the beside class, the next class, lower limit, okay? Pahli wali class ka upper limit lena hai, jo uski next side class hai, uski baad wali higher class jo hai, uska lower limit lena hai. Understood now? Okay, now what you are going to do, you are going to subtract the lower limit of next class from the upper limit of the first class, okay? And then you will get this value as 1. Okay, now is one ka kya karna is ki half value lena hai. Half of, half of one is equal to one by two is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, understood? Now you understood Shazan? Why did you do the half? This is the way, because see, you cannot, you have to make this continuous, okay? You have to make it continuous. So half add karoge, half subtract karoge, go range laoge, okay? Like you have got 11 to 20, okay? Yes, you have got 11 to 20. Now the next value is 21 to 30. It is not from 20. So, ab isko continuous kaise banai? So, first we take out the gap. Okay, first we take out the gap between this. Ye 11 to 20 hai, ek range. Aur ye, dekho samjho. 
ट्वेंटी वन टू थर्टी एक रेंज अब ये जो गैप है ना ये गैप हमें फिल करना है वी हैव टू मेक इट कंटिन्यूस फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट वट इज द गैप ओके गैप है कितना अब ये गैप निकला कितना हाउ मच गैप यू हैव गॉट वन यूनिट का गैप है हाउ मच गैप यू हैव गॉट वन यूनिट नाउ ओनली वन इज नॉट गोइंग टू कवर दिस वन यूनिट बोथ हैव टू कवर ओके दोनों इक्वल डिस्टेंस है दोनों को सेम डिस्टेंस कवर करके थोड़ा उसको बढ़ना है थोड़ा उसको बढ़ना है समझो इसको ठीक है ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो दे बोथ हैव टू मूव इक्वल डिस्टेंस एंड ट्राई टू फिल दिस गैप ओके इस तरह से समझो ओके दे बोथ आर गोइंग टू मूव इक्वल डिस्टेंस एंड ट्राई टू फिल दिस गैप नाउ सिंस द गैप इज ऑफ वन यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू हाफ इट ओके सो दैट वी कैन फाइंड आउट बिकॉज इन बिटवीन टू यू हैव टू डिवाइड दिस ना थ्री यूनिट तो है नहीं तीसरा तो यहाँ पे कोई है नहीं यहाँ पे कोई तीसरा तो है नहीं जिसमें तुम्हें गैप को फिल करना है ओनली टू पीपल आर गेट टू फिल दिस गैप ओके सो दैट्स वाई वी आर टेकिंग हाफ सो वन यूनिट का हाफ जो है इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू एड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इन दिस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सब्रैक्ट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इन दिस सो वट वील विल गेट द न्यू वैल्यू ओके विल गेट ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव एंड दियर यू विल गेट ट्वेंटी सॉरी या यू विल अगेन हियर ऑल्सो यूल गेट ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव अंडरस्टूड नाउ इट बिकेम कंटिन्यूअस वाई आई एम यूजिंग हाफ वाई एम डूइंग हाफ अंडरस्टूड और नॉट क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड एवरीबडी एनी डाउट वाई वी डू हाफ Yes. Mama, are you going to subtract subtract zero point five and eleven also? Yes, you are going to subtract zero point five and eleven also, and that's why we take one unit extra above because we are subtracting there. So, वो जो half unit जो होता है ना that is left. Okay, we are not going to because and and data can lie in that case. Okay, so we are going to have one more extra class. For example, if you are having five here, you can see here you are having three classes, na? 11 to 20 21 to 30 31 to 40 so you will have more two classes okay one will be before 11 to 20 and one will be after 31 to 40 okay now see here okay uh, so we have got what uh, will be having wait uh, so what we are going to do we are going to subtract from subtract from here okay so if i wait i will write here so i don't get lost here so इसको प्रॉपर बनाते हैं ठीक है सो यू हैव इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू थर्टी थर्टी वन टू फोर्टी ओके एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू मेक द चार्ट हियर सो इट विल बी ओके नाउ द न्यू इंटरवर्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव दैट इज फॉर दिस वन यू आर गोइंग टू हैव टेन पॉइंट फाइव टू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव टेन पॉइंट फाइव टू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव एंड फॉर दिस वन यू आर गोइंग टू हैव ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव टू यू विल हैव थर्टी पॉइंट फाइव Okay, and this one again, you are going to have thirty point five to forty point five. Okay, uh, and we also include when you are going. Okay, so this is your intervals. Okay, for when you are going frequency polygon, na, then we uh, then we include these two values. Okay, when you are, uh, so when I take the example there, I then I will explain you. Okay, so now you have got this value. Okay, now you will see that whatever frequency are there, you are going to write the frequency here. Okay. Understood. Now, one more case I wanted to discuss where the frequencies are. Where it is? Okay. Till here, everybody understood how to make a uh, how to make a discontinuous value as continuous. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let's see more than this. Okay. Now, if we are discussing about bar graphs. Okay. Bar graph. Now, bar graph is the easy one. Okay. Everybody, there are three types of graph. Your graphic. If I turn on the bar graph, first we write it. Take another one. Okay. Now, if I'm going graphical representation of data. Okay. If you see graphical representation of data, so there are three. Okay. What are the three? Bar graph. Yeah. Second is your uh, histogram, and third is your frequency polygon. Okay. Now, one by one, we will see each and every graph. Okay. So first one is bar graph. Okay. Now, bar graph is what type of Simply, there will be x-axis, and since this graphical representation is there, so you are going to use a graph paper also. Okay. Now here we can have an observation, and here we can have frequency. Okay. So, for example, I am having a just a general graph. Okay, one like this only. Okay. A, B, C. I am marking as ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Seventy. Okay, so this type of graph is there. Okay, so bra bar graph is a pictorial representation of data in which bars depend be depicting the variable of uniform width are drawn with equal spacing. Now you can see here space are here. 
space are here okay equal spacing matlab this is of one unit this gap is of one unit here the gap will again be of one unit then this will be of one unit then this gap will be of one unit this will be of one unit okay so in that way you are going to represent the graph okay now for example if i'll give you a question uh, the bar graph is the very simple one okay and uh, example i'm giving you a question here okay mode of transport mode of transport and number of students okay for example you go to school okay so you can see students can have different modes of transport yes or no some student come with their father's car some with their school transport some with their scooty some with their uh, cycle okay so there are different types of uh, school transport okay but the students can come with different transport, okay so i'm having it i will use different color so it does highlight okay so some can come with car some are going to come with bus some with uh, you can see moped and some bicycle some with rickshaw okay now what is the region okay so four students are coming with car 27 with the moped this is a simple bar graph okay now how you are going to represent this bar graph can anybody else see you are having values okay what mode of transport you are going to represent here in this frequency you are going to take this line and x you are going to represent that okay so one will be of car then uh, which one is their bus equal distance you will maintain equal distance car uh after car what was their bus then equal distance you will leave then moped and then okay then which one is their bicycle okay and then equal spacing and then it will be rickshaw okay now uh you can see the values are here 4 27 12 19 8 okay so you can take a gap of 5 5 or 4 whatever you feel like depends how much value you have to represent what is the maximum value 27 5 10 15 20 25 30 okay this is your y now if you have to represent the graph so car is 4 so it will be below okay now you have bus 27 so 27 will lie somewhere here Okay, for moped it is 12. It will lie below. Okay, bicycle 19. Just, oh, sorry. Okay, and rickshaw is 8. Now, understood? You can write here 4, 27. It was how much? It was uh, 12, 19, and 8. Okay, so this is your, you can say, uh, what was? Bar graph. Okay, so bar graph is not very tough. Okay, it is the easiest one. Okay, you just have to return. Many times you will get the question based on bar graph. Okay, it is not necessary that you will see that you will get a question to draw bar graph only. Okay, you can get a question. Now, yesterday we were having a question. Okay, I think some question. Now, you see here, this question. Read the following bar graph given in the figure and answer the questions. Now, you can see here a bar graph is there. Okay, a bar graph is there. Okay, now you have to study this bar graph okay you have to understand what is given here and now based on this graph you will have some questions to solve okay question can have different different types of question can be there so these type of question also you can get in your examination like first one the question is what information is given by this bar graph okay what type of information you can see or you can find out from this bar graph by looking at this bar graph okay so you can if you see here so from this bar graph you can see coal production by different states okay it is given of the coal production by different states in the year 1992 to 93 and 1993 to 1994 okay coal production states in which state in this year what was the coal production okay so this is denoted or this is represented by this graph okay this bar graph okay now the next question if you see here which two states have some production in 1993 to 1994 okay which two states have same production now which two states are having same production in 1993 and 1994 so everybody tell me which state 1993 to 1994 in the year 1993 yes Razi. come to bihar and mp bihar and yes bihar and mp 1993 and 1994 bihar and mp are having same production okay now Let's see the third question. Name the state having same production in both the years. So which state is there? They are which are having same production in both the years from 1992 to 1993 and 1993 to 1994. Which state is there? Um, UP. Yeah, UP. Very good. Which state has minimum production? Which state has minimum production? Um, same UP. Yes, UP has the minimum production compared compare to the other states. Okay, so these type of question also can come. Okay, and in but generally in bar graph you will find this type of question because bar graph is not difficult to draw okay so mainly questions are there based on bar graph okay 
Understood, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I think I will stop here only because time is already there, and we have to start with uh, two more graph that is histogram, and you can see uh, you can say frequency polygon. Okay, so frequency polygon. I need to explain you a little detail. Frequency polygon. First, you have to draw the bar graph only. See, uh, one thing I'll tell you in bar graph and in your sorry bar graph and histogram. Okay, bar graph. You can see equal gapping is there. Yes, but in your histogram, you will see a continuous graph is there. Okay, a continuous graph is there. Why? Because a group frequency distribution, or you can say exclusive form, is taken here. Okay. Now, for example, I will take a question here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, just here. I will represent one question. Marks and student number of students. Okay, so marks and number of students. Marks number of students. Okay, so we are having gaps. Okay, so ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, and thirty to forty, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, sixty to seventy. I am taking till here only. Okay, seven, eleven, nine, thirteen, sixteen, and four. Okay, it's just an example. Okay, now if you are going to represent the histogram, so how you are going to represent? Obviously, you have a continuous data of marks. So you are going from zero. If you are going to mark, you can see ten ten gap is there. You can directly take ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and eighty. Okay, this will be your x. Okay, now uh, number of student you can say it is still sixteen. Okay, so you can take a gap of four four or uh, just two two gap you will take. Okay, you can uh, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen. Depend on the space you are having. If you are having enough space, you can write zero one two three four five six. Okay, so if you are having enough space, so you can represent all the values. Okay, eighteen twenty. Okay. Now, if you represent the graph, ten to twenty-seven, twenty twenty-seven, so it will lie here. Okay. Now, twenty to thirty, it is eleven, so eleven will lie here. Okay. This is your histogram. Nine, thirty, sixteen, and seventy-four. Okay. So it is this type of graph is there. This is called histogram. You can write here the value seven, eleven, nine, thirteen, sixteen, and four. Okay, so this is your histogram. Okay, and if they are unequal size are there. Okay, so that I will tell you tomorrow. Okay, that means unequal size I will explain tomorrow. Ah, uh, that is ah uh, this is continuous na ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. Okay, it can be there ten to twenty. Then you are having thirty to fifty. Okay, so if that type of is there, so how to draw that type of graph? Okay, that I will explain you tomorrow. Okay, so this is a basic histogram. Okay, that I have shown you here. Okay, a simple histogram that how you are going to draw a histogram. Okay, understood till here? Yes, ma'am. Shazan, understood? Yes, ma'am. Got it. Advika, have you understood? Advika is not here. Okay, so I'm going to end the session here.